Okay, so it is only the beginning of March and Cymatics has already released three different plugins in the year of 2021. The first one obviously being the Drum Enhancer Diablo and the second one called Vortex, which is an 808 enhancer. And last week they released their multi-effects plugin called Pluto. Now Pluto itself seems very interesting. It is different from the other two plugins that we've seen from Cymatics. The other two were solely based on drums and 808s. This is the very first plugin that they put out that is all about melodies and gluing them all together. And I have been sitting on this plugin for about a week now, testing it and seeing what I liked about it so I can do a completely full in-depth review for you guys. But first of all, like always, I do want to say that Cymatics is sending me this plugin to get the review out for you, but this is all my 100% honest review. Now let's get into this video. So I'm on the Cymatics website right here underneath the Pluto Multi FX plugin, and it has a little bit of an overview telling us what the knobs will be doing. Here are some of the effects that the Pluto plugin will be offering. Two different types of reverb from Shimmer to Hall, two different types of delay like granular and tape, chorus, phaser, phalanger, and a wow and flutter feature. I also think it's really cool that they offer six payments of $15 as opposed to just $75 up front. That's very cool. And now with all of that out of the way, let's go in and start using the Pluto plugin. That sounds really cool actually. It's really catchy. Pluto plugin. Good job naming that one guys. It's really good. So I have a quick sample beat right here. It's nothing crazy. And I put everything onto mixture tracks already so we can get started. Here's what everything sounds like right now. Right, now one thing you can notice right here is going to be the melodies, which I have a guitar and actually just FL keys. I had Keyscape on there originally, but switched it out for FL keys, just so I can show you guys what it can do to some stock sounds. And then we've got these two vocal lines right here, which these are actually going to be from the new Zodiac teaser pack. Starlight gazing through your eyes. And then just chopped it up a little bit to get more of a unique pattern. And then simple jump pattern right here. And those are going to be from an unreleased pack of mine, but I do have a couple of free sample packs down in the description for you guys. Now we can start using the Pluto plugin. I have this little bus right here where I can put all of my melodies, which I am not going to be putting the bass on there because I don't want to put reverb on my bass. <laughs> Go put on Cymatics Pluto over here. And then you have a whole bunch of presets over here from delay, effects, lo-fi, and reverb. Lo-fi is also really good if you want that sort of feel, which I might use the ambient one right now, actually. Sounds very dreamy. And it's all just from using the preset. I haven't touched anything yet. Which it is currently on Shimmer Reverb, which might be my favorite one in here. Here it is with just the vocals. Very good, I love that. And the reason why I like the Shimmer Reverb more is going to be this one right here. You can actually pitch up the reverb itself. But if you are going to be doing that, I recommend lowering the brightness a little bit. Get some of that warmth back. And there's only going to be one preset. There are tons and tons more over here. Let's go and try out like Moon One. Sounds pretty good, actually. This one's weird. This one's definitely gonna have, yeah, a lot of mod effects on there. Let's go and try out something in the reverb section, though. I think Air is my favorite one, which I might want to add a little bit of delay if I was gonna do that. That sounds really good. So I really do recommend going through a lot of the presets there and seeing which one that you like and then expand off of that just in the beginning until you get a really good firm grasp on it. All right, but this plugin is much more than just presets. It is fully customizable. So I'm going to be going on to initial and now we can start doing our own thing right here and showing you guys everything that it has to offer. So this is going to be the wow flutter feature, which is going to turn up to like say 30%. You can hear that's changing the sound, right? be very popular for like some lo-fi stuff. I think that the um, the rate around right here is pretty like normal. I like that a little bit higher. I always increase the stereo for this part. This sounds really good. Not too much though. And then this knob right here is going to be for blending the wow and the flutter. I recommend keeping it very much on the wow side. And for other plugins that offer this feature, I usually keep it around like 15% for the flutter because look what happens. You know, you don't want to be doing this very rare that you want that that sort of effect. Like this whole entire feature right here, be very careful with, because if I increase this too much too, it just doesn't sound that good. All right, now we are going to be moving on to the mod effects, which does have three different modes, like chorus, phaser, and phalanger, which as you can see by turning the knob, it changes the other knobs as well. So let's go and start off with uh, chorus, right? Keep it going very low, probably too. 8% sounds pretty good. And we can change the frequencies too. I like this one of the lower registry because it adds more to the chords more than the actual melody. And then you can increase the feedback as well. I'll go to like uh, something more around here, more subtle. 
And then once again, we can add more stereo, but I don't want to be adding too much more. And then we can go switch it on over to phaser. That sounds pretty good. And then finally, we've got the flanger. The chorus sounds really, um, really soothing. I might leave it on that one. And now the third knob over here is going to be the delay, which we've got two different options between tape delay and granular delay. Currently we are on tape delay. And then you can also use this right here, which is by milliseconds, or what I prefer to do is go over to sync and hit that button right there, and then go through different increments like this. Like here, I'm gonna say it like around 1.4, or 1 fourth, sorry. Like that already sounds pretty good. All right, now the feedback is generally around 50% right here. If I crank it all the way up to 100, it is going to be playing none of the original signal and all of the delay. See, it's just gonna keep on going forever. It's actually going kind of crazy. So let's go back down to like 50. And this goes for all plugins, but this one especially, it can be very easy to overdo it. So I recommend going in very small increments and making some minor changes and then do a little bit more once you've got more of a grasp on the actual plugin. Okay, or you can change it on over to granular delay. Granular is weird. Um, I haven't really gotten a complete handle of this one yet, not just on this plugin, but on any other one. Like I used to use Portal as well, and it's, it's very different. The one thing that's gonna really ruin this though is I uh, really detuning it, which of course a little bit can be nice, right? Like I recommend doing like one to 3%. And then feedback, I'm gonna keep that on 50%. But I do think it's very cool that they offer that. There's not a whole lot of granular synthesis out there. So other than Portal, this is like my favorite one to use. All right, now the final knob is going to be the reverb, which we do have two different ones from your standard hall delay or the really amazing shimmer reverb, which we've already talked about that you can increase the pitch of the reverb itself. Well, let's stick to hall reverb for a second. This is your more traditional reverb. Try increasing the volumes a little bit. It's getting a little bit lower. They can make the signal more damp. This is basically your dry and wet knobs over here. And then your size. You gotta be careful with this one though, I might leave it around around 60% where it was before. It sounds pretty good. And then the decay, it's gonna be how long you want the sound to be continuing after it hits that original sound. So if you want, if you put it like a lot over here, it's basically gonna be infinite. And I'm gonna hit stop over here, and it's still going, right? But if I lower this number, dies out much more quickly. Okay, now I will say that we've done quite a bit to this sound already after using every single one of these knobs right here. So I might wanna dial some stuff down a little bit and I can do that by these little arrows over here, which you may have missed if you've already gone through this plugin. Hitting these arrows right here brings up a filter, delay, reverb knob, and the mix. So this is going to be the magnitude like before. It's going to decrease everything over here within each one of these knobs. So if I decrease this, if you look at the actual big knob over there, it's decreasing it as well. So let's play with that a little bit more. Sixty-four sounds really good. Now let's go to the reverb right here. Like here's the low pass filter of the wet signal. Sounds a lot less full. Or if I put it up over here, it's that we get more of that shininess back. And this is the high pass filter, where it's just it's taking a lot of the low end, which might be good if you're really thinking about it. If you have not EQ'd your instrument beforehand and you want to get rid of some of that low end, you can definitely use this right here. But I already did that, so I don't need to worry about it. And here's an EQ for the delay as well. Here's the high pass filter. Gets rid of a lot of that fullness. Give something like right there. And then the low pass. Get rid of some clarity of that, so I don't want that. Let's go and switch it up a little bit. We've been hearing that melody a lot, huh? Let's hear the vocals are sounding again. Very sweet, actually. So here's the pre-filter, where if you want to do anything before we add these effects, you can go over here and take out some of that low end again. Right there sounds pretty good. And the high pass as well. If you want to make it sound like really tucked in the background, you can something like this. But once again, it's a little bit extreme, so let's go and crank this back up a little bit. But then if you do that over to the post filter, which I don't always recommend, you know, I, whenever I do filters for my, my instruments, I always do it before my effects, so I leave it on the pre over here. But if you feel like the chorus knob over here added a little bit too much low end for your liking, you can definitely go over here and take out some more of that high, low end, sorry. And this is just a mix knob. The more that you decrease it, the less of the effects are gonna be added. Then the more we have, you can hear our effects coming back. And then two final little knobs over here. Uh, this is gonna be your input knob and then your output knob. All right, so after all of that, let's hear what everything else sounds like. So 
So that sounds all well and great on our melodies, but we can also put these onto our drums. So let's go ahead and grab everything except for the kick, actually, and then we can go ahead and add our Pluto plugin again. And then I'm probably going to be decreasing this a lot as well. So over here in the reverb, I think I want it over on the shimmer. That's perfect. Decrease that probably. And maybe a little bit of delay too. Time based because it's drums. Maybe some granular actually. Yeah, probably not granular actually. <laughs> All right, so that is going to be what the Pluto plugin sounds like on a piano, guitar, vocals, and drums. If you put this on some sort of synth, it's gonna sound crazy. In fact, let's go and try that out, actually. Nope. Sure, let's go and try you. That sounds beautiful, man. All right, I'm actually just getting distracted now. Okay, back to the video. All right, so that is where I'm going to leave today's video. As far as the actual plugin goes, I love it. It's working out so well for everything right now. I've been loving it for the past week, and honestly, I think you guys are really going to like it as well. And like we said at the beginning, it is going to be $75 up front, or you can pay six payments of $15. It's nothing. Very affordable, and I'm glad they give you that option to do a monthly plan. So drop a comment down below if you guys have picked up this plugin, or if you're going to, and let me know what you guys think about it. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like down below, as it helps me out a lot, and subscribe for more future content. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.